week marks seven years since the death of transgender teen Leela Alcorn on I-71 in Warren County. Her death and suicide note posted online sent shockwaves across the country and really around the world. WCPO 9 News reporter Whitney Miller tells us how Leela's story is still creating space for many just like her. Whether you knew Leela or not, her death made an impact, especially in the trans community, reaching those who struggle with the way society sees them. And seven years ago, there wasn't a space like this, a personalized clothing experience that's doing more than just transforming how they look on the outside. From highway memorials to banners, parades, and news coverage that reached a nation, Leela Alcorn will forever be remembered. I think Leela's legacy is about trying to make the world safer for trans youth. Her short life sparked national conversations about gender identity and acceptance when her suicide note published to an online blog after her death in 2014. The internet was such a space for I think young queer people to kind of find each other and kind of find solace and especially you know where she left her suicide note on Tumblr I think began such a reckoning of really like seeing how visible that is. I had very few resources back then that were doing anything. Now seven years later that's transforming. Tristan Vaught and Ella Dastelung are co-founders of Transform, an organization that helps trans youth look the way they feel inside. As they're transitioning, they get 15 to 20 outfits, shoes, accessories, a free haircut, and it's by appointment only. So it's just them, their support system, and they get an entire rack of clothes to go through. But it's more than just clothes. Tristan was on hand at Leela's school after her death to educate students, their families, and staff about gender identity and inclusion. Trans youth suicide rates are about 60%. So if we had 10 trans youth in here, think about what that looks like at 60%. Just having one accepting adult for an LGBTQ plus individual can reduce that suicide rate in half. Since opening October 2019, Transform has helped more than 200 trans youth through clothing services and programs. This is reaching those kids at every level because a medical transition is only a tiny part of what these kids go through or anyone who's trans goes, goes through, but the social transition is a bigger piece of that. So that's what we do. In OTR, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News. If you or anyone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts, we like to share this, the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number there on your screen, 1-800-273-8255.